Good day. The study television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The Hasidic flag of Cilicia. Republic of Armenia Ministry of Foreign Affairs about another proactive initiative of Azerbaijan on Shushi. Artsakh security priorities according to the military expert. The Kremlin's unexpected reaction to the Turkish world map. In occupied Western Armenia, they call for the restoration of the monastery of Sandara Kelots in Mush. Azerbaijanis have built a custom terminal in Akhejevan. Their activity in this part gives the right to think that they will try to get a road through an Angirakot, Shagat, Bahe, Hakopian. Culture of Western Armenia, traditional wedding songs of Karno, Erzurum. Cilicia 1915. We present to you the Red Cross on the flag of the Savior under which the 40 day heroic Battle of Musa Dag took place. A French warship from the sea noticed this flag on the top of Mount Musa and came to the aid of the defenders of Musa Dag. The flag is kept in the Anjara Museum, Lebanon. The flag of the Musa Larians depict the same Red Cross on a white background. Under this banner, they opposed and defeated a Turkish army which committed genocide. The photo shows members of the Mount Musa resistance with the same flag. Georgian historian Nobar Assetini calls the current flag of Georgia Gorgasail flag, symbolizing Christianity. Since 2004, the official flag of Georgia in fact is also the official flag of Cilicia, as evidenced by its design. As stated in the Armenian Foreign Ministry, Azerbaijan statements on the inclusion of Shushi in the UNESCO Network of Creative Cities are another provocation. Earlier it became known that the Minister of Culture of Azerbaijan intends to submit to the UNESCO Secretary document on the inclusion of Shushi in the UNESCO Network of Cities and Towns. The Foreign Ministry said that at the moment there is no information about Azerbaijan sending such a request. As for the publication on the Azerbaijan media and statements of officials, Baku constantly says that cultural programs within the framework of UNESCO and come up with the various proactive initiatives. The statement on the inclusion of Shushi in the UNESCO network of creative cities is also not an exception, the article says. In this regard, work is underway, in particular with UNESCO to prevent the destruction and distillation of the essence on the Armenian historical and cultural heritage. Recently, another aggression by Azerbaijan along the eastern borders of Armenia has caused serious security problems for the region and Artsakh. What threats have arisen in the Artsakh, the correspondent of Artsakh Press tried to find out from military expert Vladimir Harutunyan. According to Harutunyan, the military political leadership of Artsakh in Armenia and on various international platforms should keep it a topic of the Artsakh issue. The aggression of Azerbaijan and the humanitarian crisis on the priority agenda. They must also create the necessary guarantees and social conditions to prevent the leakage of the civilians and organize the normal life and activities of people in Artsakh. With the close cooperation of the human rights defender, law enforcement agencies and Russian peacekeepers, it is necessary to give a legal course in any case of violation of the ceasefire. They must conduct consistent work to counter the information war declared by the enemy and create its own information troops. Press Secretary of the President of Russia Dmitry Peskov expressed regret that a map of the Turkish world presented by the leader of Nationalist Movement Party Devlet Bahçeli to Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan does not contain a red star that shows that the center is not in Turkey but in Russia. Our Turkish partners encourage the idea of Turkish unity. This is normal. The only thing I regret is that there is no big red star in the center of the Turkish world on the map yet, Peskov said. The Kremlin spokesman stressed that in center, it's not the Turkey. It is located on the territory of the Russian Federation in Altai. Peskov said that this is a sacred place for every Turk from where they come. I say this as a Turkologist, he stressed. A number of citizens who visited the Armenian Monastery of the Holy Apostles in Mush, in Western Armenia, called on the local authorities to restore the half-ruined monastery. According to the Turkish Anadolu news agency, the citizens walked around the Armenian church, destroyed by the thieves, and expressed their wish that a historical monument will be renovated in order to develop tourism in the region. As it is known, the Monastery of the Holy Apostles in Mush, which is currently located on the village of Skepanek, is center of the Mush province of Western Armenia was founded in the 1st century by St. Gregory the Illuminator. The Holy Apostles of Mush, before 1950, the genocide committed against the Armenians, was one of the most holy places of the region. The monastery in 1960 was exploded with dynamite by the Mush governor's office, as a result of which only two churches have survived from this monastery complex. The monastery was renovated in 1125. 
In fact, we did not limit ourselves to the laws of the Goris Kapan M2 road section. We also lost the Kapan Chakaten road. Deputy of the parliamentary faction Armenia Vahe Hakopian said this in an interview with journalists. According to the deputy, the Angiragot Chagat road is being intensively built. If you look at Google, the next one is the border of Nahijevan. And the Azerbaijanis have already built and finished the custom terminal. Their activity in this part at least gives the right to think that the Azerbaijan will try to get away through this place, he said. Arbenia scholar Ashak Adamian presents a video in Radio Mariam that leads us into the past. The Armenian sock wedding songs have a creation of the ingrained tradition of the people since the immemorial. In this regard, Komitas, Kara Murza, Father Muradian and others made a great contribution who were able to memorialize culture with such values as everyday rituals and customs, labor and social relations. Karin's songs were performed both men and women, with the help of which they expressed their feelings and experiences. Karin's songs in Western Armenia are rich and informative, which is still of interest to art lovers today. You can listen to Karin's songs at the following link below. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.